I have no idea where I'm going. I think I'm on the different trail than the one I had planned on taking. But, you know, it's marked and there's signs and I actually have no idea what time it is either because I left my phone in the car and my watch is broken. So, I'm a terrible hiker. Don't do what I do. I have lots of water though, so it's cool. We're good to go. We won't die in the desolation wilderness. This is actually only the first week that I've been living in South Lake Tahoe. Although I've been working for a week and a half, I didn't move until last Sunday. So, this is all new for me. I've lived in what I would consider a rural area before, but never so high up in the mountains. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen when it starts snowing in, you know, October, maybe even September. The place I work has snow days, which means that when the school district is closed for snow, we are too, which is pretty cool because I don't really want to drive in the snow. I only live about five minutes away from where I work, so if push comes to shove, I could actually walk, but who wants to walk in three feet of snow? Not me, that's for sure. People keep asking me up here if I ski. No. Although I have been known to stand on skis and then go downhill on them, it's not really my thing. You guys, it's so pretty here. I have to keep stopping taking pictures, which is good because I'm out of breath anyway. I'm walking up this little tiny hill. It's a little pathetic. I'm thinking to myself, how lucky am I? I get to live in this place. Amazing. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, I had to stop and take a picture of that. You can still see the snow on the mountains over there. And we're walking through an alpine meadow with all kinds of wildflowers. My car is filling up. I can't do much more video. But I have about a mile to go until the lake. I think this is Winnemucca Lake. Not really sure. Here we are walking downhill, back to the parking lot, this beautiful bright green meadow. I had to delete some things to get this video, so I hope you appreciate it. And my battery's dying. I need to buy a lot of things. I'm going to keep doing this video blog, including a better camera. On my way down the mountain, I started thinking about hope. I think that hope is the most enduring human trait. Not hatred or violence or greed. Hope can inspire us to do great things, and when hope is gone, well, that's about as low as you can get. I think of all the people in the last hundred years who have made a big difference, and I think that all of their actions stem from a hope that things will get better. Not only did they hope, but they used it as a catalyst to inspire change. The way I see it, those of us born privileged in the Western world have three choices. We can choose to do nothing. We can choose to act in a selfish and short-sighted way. Or we can choose to be an agent of positive change. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It doesn't have to rule your life. But it can give us hope.